So why is dialogue an important competence for agroecologists? Um, to answer this question, we should look at the, the paradoxes and the complexities of, uh, and challenges of contemporary farming and food systems, globalized food systems. And uh, I think it's, um, it's uh, strong agreement on the fact that uh, this requires knowledge that go way beyond any single intelligence. At the same time, we have these buzzwords of interdisciplinarity and transdisciplinarity, um, that's, which, which are sort of easy to say and repeated by many, but really hard to do. Uh, this also brings up the question of how can we communicate across different disciplinary positions and traditions to reach this uh, land of transdisciplinarity. And uh, we have experienced that uh, dialogue is a tool for achieving this. And with dialogue, we don't mean the sort of daily life way of using the term as just a as, as substitute for having a com conversation. Uh, in our view, dialogue is a highly focused way of talking together uh, to explore complex situations, also to ex explore questions uh, with the aim of increase uh, of developing a, uh, a, a deeper and more complex understanding than what one single person can develop. Um, it requires a shift from having answers to being curious. Um, you have to practice how to listen without thinking of the answer you will provide when somebody else is talking. And uh, you have to move away from asking quick answers to search for important questions. It's, it's really the opposite of a debate. Uh, a debate has two opposite positions, and the aim is winning. In a dialogue, you can sort of imagine the issue dealt with as hanging from the roof in the middle of the room, and uh, the different participants in the dialogue, they try to bring in their best knowledge from their individual perspectives into this issue in the middle of the room, and... Uh, all the time aiming at building on the ideas of the others and trying to develop this new emergent shared knowledge of the situation. As with many of the competencies, it's, it's then uh, not a... It's, it's not a term to be understood and defined. That's not the most important part. It's a skill that you need to practice. And... Um, this is why we have introduced uh, dialogue in our course, not uh, as lectures, but starting out with a workshop where the students uh, try out dialoguing and explore the prerequisites for, um, for really having a good dialogue, learning from mistakes, improving from one round of dialogue to the next one, uh, and then we follow up on this throughout the course. And the aim of all this is, of course, that the students should be able to take this, this out in the dialogue space, in their casework, in their conversations with farmers, uh, with food system practitioners, and not the least as a way for communication inside the student team when they are doing their casework. The students uh, ask different questions. Um, they have the practical questions about my everyday uh, problems on the farm, like the economy and the practical things. But they also ask uh, more difficult questions for me to answer, like what's your plan for the future and so on. <laughs>